Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all my 2024 planner lineup. I'm planning to use four planners next year, two functional and two that are more for decorative planning, journaling, that kind of thing. So let's just jump right in. I think I'm going to go and do the functional planners first, and then I'll show you the decorative ones. So the first planner I have here is nothing new if you've been following my channel for a while. This is my pocket size traveler's notebook that I've been using for years. The cover is a Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy in the color toffee. On the bottom I have several charms and these were all gifts except for this one. This one comes from my shop. I used to have a pen loop for this planner but I somehow misplaced it so until I find it I'm just tucking my pen into the elastic which works just as well. Now this planner is very simple because it's my everyday carry and I just don't want it to be too heavy or bulky. And I really only use this so that I have a place to jot down stuff while I'm on the go. The inside setup is the same as it was the last time I showed y'all this planner. I actually have a whole video setting up this planner so I'll link that in the cards. I did an out west theme because I was getting ready to go on a vacation out to Yellowstone and some other places. These little notebooks are from Amazon. They just have a dot grid. I'll link these and all the other products I mentioned down below. So this first notebook, it's literally just for lists. Right now I have an end of the year to do, but I'll put new release ideas, grocery lists, gift ideas, anything like that will go in the front here. Again, just a place where when I'm out, I can write down any notes I have and later on I can transfer it to another planner if need be. The second notebook is the same, but instead of lists, I keep a weekly tracker sort of insert. I just draw it myself. This is another just plain grid insert, which I like because then I can customize it. So if one week I need more space, I can turn this into two pages. Or if one week I just need another to-do list, I can use it like that. In this planner, I don't typically plan too far ahead. I usually do every week, the Sunday before it starts. So this is not a super functional like reference type of planner. This is very much so what am I needing to do today, tomorrow, and the next day type thing. Again, just very convenient for taking it out with me when I'm on the go. And that is it. The rest of the planner is just decorative stuff. Sometimes I will keep little washi cards or samplers, or if I need to keep like a receipt or some other note or something, I'll tuck it into the pockets. But as of right now, I don't need anything in there. So that is my first super functional everyday carry planner. All the rest of the planners I'm gonna show you do not leave my desk, including this one. This planner is from East to West Studio. I have a couple of videos on my channel showcasing this planner and setting it up, so I will link those in the cards as well. But this is what I call my reference planner, and by that I mean all my information that I need goes in here. So I have birthdays, to-do lists, big events marked, and all that kind of stuff. So let me just show you. So in this planner, I will forward plan a lot and I will use the year to glance to mark things that are coming up so that I can come to this page and reference it as I need. I also use the monthly calendar and this is another page that I will refer to regularly as I'm planning in my traveler's notebook or in the weekly sections here. This one's not filled out very much because I'm still pretty far off from <laughs> this actual week when I'm filming this video, but I plan to use this planner to its full potential, and by that I mean actually filling out all the spaces. I just think it's really well organized for someone like me who likes to know what's going on, and I'm really detail-oriented and I like having a strict schedule, so I think this is going to be very helpful for me. And here I'm planning to track everything from work to appointments to my YouTube schedule to birthdays and events. And I will do an update later on in the year about how that's going for me. And this planner does have finance tracking in it, which I also am really into. I, I like to budget. That's just the type of person I am. So I'll also be using this as a budget planner. The next planner I have, again, will not be a surprise if you've been following me for a while. This is a Hobonichi Cousin. I've been using this planner for four years now, I believe. But for the last two years, I've been using the Standard Cousin. I used to get the Avec, which is split into two books but I've transferred to the Cousin. I don't get a cover for it or for any of my other planners really because this never sits on my desk. It's always either on my shelf or I have it open, so I'm only ever seeing the edge if I see anything. Again, I do have a video showing how I set this planner up already on my channel, so I will link that in the cards, but this is a memory planner for me. In the front, I have a vision board. I do not use these pages in the planner usually, although I am considering using these habit trackers this year. 
I do use the monthly calendar as a memory keeper because I put one little memory from each day, like a highlight from each day in here. That's really fun to go back and look at. The weekly spreads are where I do my main memory planning, so I'll just fill this up with cute stickers and other fun stuff. I have lots of videos on my channel of me planning in this type of planner if you want to see how I do that. In the back, this planner does have daily pages, and I use these for Bible study notes, so that's what I'm going to be continuing to do this year. It works really well for me. And I'm also going to be tracking books I read next year, some goals I have, as well as no spends. So this planner is sort of functional, but I would call this functional memory keeping since it's not something I need to look at in advance like true planning would be. So that's how I use this planner. Okay, the last planner I have is a new one. Well, sort of new. This is just a Stalogy grid notebook. Looks like this inside, very plain. It's not dated, but at the top, it does have a little calendar where you can circle or highlight the month, day, and date if you want to do that. I am probably not going to do that. I had one of these notebooks I want to say it was three years ago it was much smaller and i did daily journaling in that notebook and it was fun but i just i didn't have like a system going on so it was kind of messy and wasn't as organized as i would have liked so this year i'm going into it with a plan first of all i'm not going to make myself daily journal because sometimes i do feel like i'm forcing myself to journal every day as opposed to journaling when i want to when i really feel like it or when i have something to write about so I'm not going to journal every day, and I also like that because this only has enough pages for one, one journal entry a day. It's a 365 page notebook. So if you journal every day in here, you never have an extra day, and some days there are there's a lot going on, so you want an extra day. So I'm looking forward to not journaling every day if I don't want to, and then I'll have extra space for when I do want to journal more. Another thing I'm changing is instead of writing everything, I actually got an HP Sprocket. I don't know if y'all have seen these, but it's basically a tiny printer, and you can print directly from your phone. So I've wanted one of these for a, like a really long time, and I'm so happy I finally went ahead and got one. I think it's going to be so fun to print off little photos and put them in here, and they are 2 by 3 inch, so I think they'll fit really nicely in here. I don't think they'll be too big, but I think they'll really stand out from the page. I have not used this yet, so I can't really give you any sort of review on it or anything, but I will, well, if y'all are interested, I can do a review on this and let you know how it's going. I do plan on doing some sort of journal or plan with me in this planner if you want to see how I'm using it. I am planning to pull out all the stops in here and use stickers, washi, highlighters, brush pens, the little sprocket photos. And of course do some writing so i think it's going to be a really fun planner when i'm done with it all right so that is my lineup for 2024 i'm really excited to be using two new planners this year but i'm also happy to have two old faithful planners because i just feel like if i wasn't or if i was going into the new year with four new planners it would be kind of overwhelming especially because i've been using these planners for so so long but I cannot wait to see how my planning evolves throughout the year. And as I said, if you want updates on how I'm using any of these, just leave me a comment down below and I'll try to film a video maybe every quarter or something showing y'all what I'm doing in my planners. And I would love if y'all commented below and told me which planners you're using for next year. I always love hearing what y'all are using and it helps me because if I see people using a lot of the same planners, then I kind of know what to design for the shop as in like what size kits and stuff. So that is about it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.